how nice this is. Yeah, that's true. But you know, I'm not even supposed to be here today. And here I am with you guys doing this. So <laughs> let's get moving. Let's get into it. One, two, three. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to my Whiskey Den again today. We are happy to see you here at your favorite public access whiskey review show where craft whiskey is ching. And Mike, what do we usually say here to all the lovely people at home? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to find out when new episodes come out. Comment down below. Please leave us some feedback. We do read the feedback. And don't forget, most every Monday night is a live show with a... Uh, an evening with series um we've got the really good ones coming up uh and we actually have a special sunday night one that uh we just recently did yes oh, wait oh we did yes we did do one on sunday night that's true um and tonight when this airs tonight will be uh the night we're welcoming the people from westland on so i mean can't wait for that that's going to be exciting show up there tonight because they have some special stuff, but that's not why we're here today. We are here today because we are talking about Virginia Distillery, who is way on the other side of the country, but that's totally okay. They, what, what, what am I saying? I know we're drinking their cider cask finish. I know Mike knows a little bit more about them besides the fact that they are working with our, our other lovely guest at the end of the month, Mrs. Nancy Fraley, who we cannot get on the She's, you're not coming on the stream again tonight. We finally have you blocked off, so our apologies to Nancy, but we're not getting you on tonight or today. But we will on the 31st, 8 o'clock, everyone show up. We have her time set aside for her. It's probably going to be two hours because there is a lot to taste that night. And Virginia's, we're, we're going to be tasting their courage and conviction that night. So, Mike, I'm sorry to cut you off. I'll let you talk. I had to ramble my first five minutes to get it off my chest. So, all right. So what we do know from, from Virginia Distilling, and this is quoting from their website, uh, uh, late Dr. George Moore, uh, he, he liked whiskey. Uh, he was a native Irishman, came to the United States in the, in the 70s. Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, around uh, 2011, he they said he had the chance to combine his two passions when he started the Virginia Distillery Company. And uh, today, George's wife, Angela, and their son, Gareth, uh, along with his wife, Maggie, um, have taken the helm on Virginia Distilling. And they were, um, I, I think, where some of the famous came in because they had Virginia Highland whiskey, which yes. uh, I believe the Scotch, the Scotch uh, Society was not too keen on that. Um, but so be it. <laughs> Come over and take it away. Um, but, this but they is, were this using Highland malt in their blend they were they yep. just did not like the labeling and they yes. did not like how they had it well this one is still the cider cask and this is the batch five of the cider cask okay. uh it is still called cider cask virginia highland, highland. whiskey so <laughs> seems like they've won <laughs> suck Cheers. it scotland <laughs> <laughs> check one up off the craft yeah. America. score one for the virginians <laughs> <laughs> But so, yeah, yeah, this is taking their Highland malt and finishing it in a cider cask, which is, I'm going to say, a little newer. Uh, there's only a couple other distilleries I know using a cider cask or starting to play with it. So yeah. they did this a couple a while ago, and, and I'm glad to see them come out with something different. They also have a port, which yeah. we'll get to as well, too. The, but, the, the cider is, they, they use them, uh, what I read, from two different cider makers. And they are in there from, it was a range from like uh, eight to 20 months was the oh. finish time that they used. I yeah. believe that. That's, that's quite a while. Yes. <laughs> this has quite a nose on it. <laughs> I mean, this Yeah, is, you can, you can yeah. tell it has like an apple cider and not just like green apple or red apple. It could it be a Highland whiskey. <laughs> it has a little bit of that uh, spice note to it. Yes, it is. Like uh, a light little bit of clove. Yeah, pears. Pepper. Yeah pears and uh, apples and i find it brighter um than yes, what i was yes. expecting it's yes, much very brighter much so it's bright but there's a little bit of a rich malt note to it as well and kind of 
maybe yeah. balances that brightness a little bit, but yeah, it leaps out. There's some nice minerality. Yeah. If that's, if that's such a word. <laughs> it is now. I get yeah. a little, little pecan on there too. I get a little hit of chocolate in there as well. Like a milk chocolate note. Mm -hmm. that light on that. But that's what I'm liking yeah. about this. This is one of those lightly married together and I'm not going to, you're not going to go hunting for stuff. But it is no. going to take you time to find things. Yes, yeah. and it's no. a forty-six percent ABV. Hmm, so bad. At least yeah. It's about forty, so that's good. You could still get in there. You know, you can really get in there to do some smelling. I would. I would have guessed forty by the nose. You know, it's it's pretty. Yeah, it just smells very easy. pleasant and easy. Yes. I had. A, I knew someone like that in high school. <laughs> I'm sure we all have. <laughs> also, also, just happened to be named Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm going in. Me yeah. too. Mm. Mm. Honey mm. for days, right away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right away, honey. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's still there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, honey, vanilla, and butterscotch, and oh man. Mm. A little, is, little almond. Yeah, I'm, definitely some almond in there. And some, yeah, more pear. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Like it's got said, a nice the, oiliness, too. I was going to say the oiliness I like, but I also like when you guys were mentioning maltiness, it is almost just enough to balance. Yes. Yeah. That pole kind of evens it together. And takes the fruits fruit notes down like a little bit of a notch so they never get like that bitter or sharp note to it. Yeah. Wow. I think I like this better than some Highlands. Sorry, Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like we've taken some of your stuff and maybe titched it up a notch. Mm -hmm. That's what the, they're the playing. Closest, the closest thing this reminds me of is uh Brew Claudies twenty eleven release that they did some white wine cast finishing yep. on that one mm. this has that kind of mineral and bright yeah uh, oh, I can not, see that. not really citrus but the bright notes it, it reminds me of that and that honey note in this guys i don't know it, the first thing it put me in mind of is that domelos domelos oh, yeah. or whatever domelos, the, domelos yeah. that we Domelo. did it, it, it like the mouth feel of it and and the honey notes just that immediately came yeah. to mind and this is i will say i mean clearly uh if i can show the level here I'm enjoying this as I have been for quite some time, but this, <laughs> this whiskey, um, this is one that, that I like if someone is like, Oh, I don't like whiskey. Like this is one that I can get out and say, I would like for you to try this. Yeah. Yeah. You know, another There's, one comp, like compass box, compass box of Sila for a white wine drinker. It's like, I would like for you to try this. This would be another one for someone who's like, I, I'm a white wine person. I don't like whiskey. Like I would like for you to try this. What? If, if this, if you didn't tell me this was a whiskey, you might be able to sway me. Like you, it, it's a fortified wine or, or something of that yeah. nature. I think if you if you chilled this very much, so I think you could fool somebody until mm -hmm. it warmed up. Yeah. If anybody who's a white wine drinker, this, this should be uh, an easy convert for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very very good whiskey. I like this. Yeah. I like as I said quite a bit. It, Ben was 100% right that we just got honey right away and it's overwhelming. It is yeah. it is very much like the mellows where you're tasting honey, but it's not mm -hmm. sweet, gross honey. It's like mm -hmm. alcoholic honey, you know, yeah. like it still has some bite, but it's got some nice flavors rolling through it. Like when, mm -hmm. when honey is used in a recipe, but it's not overly used, you know, and you don't feel the stickiness and, you, you, know, you know, you don't have it on your mouth. You're like, oh, yep, there was the honey. It's uh, there as just a, as a component that is... Got like a, nice a thin look. layer over yes. a piece of bread, not like very thick, much so. like this thin layer um, on, on some morning toast or something. Just well, this. that's exactly. I was about to say this is like honey over wafers mm -hmm. for me. Um, even maybe even a little bit of honeycomb to it. <laughs> so if you're looking for a breakfast whiskey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is one that would definitely hit up breakfast whiskey, and I, I would, I'd be happy to put it there right next to me, like ah. Fruit Loops, are we doing this? Okay, you know, whatever. Sunday, Sunday morning on the way to church whiskey. 
<laughs> Only as long as you bring some for the pastor. You know that's <laughs> yes, right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yes. When Leave you, a when sample go, bottle in the offering plate, please. So, yeah, when you go up for communion, say, no thanks, Padre, I brought my own. <laughs> <laughs> Here, he, give, he gives you the glass, and you, like, reach into your pocket and bring out your Glen Care, and, like, this is for you. Like, just, just a trade. It's just a trade. Yeah. Just pat your coat pocket, give him a nod. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we're running up on the live stream. We're going to start in a second. So I think this is good to call the night. So yeah. we will see everyone later. Uh, don't forget to stop in and check out Nancy Fraley's Courage and Conviction when she's on, along with the five other ones. You guys can cross in the back. It's okay. Um, and we're sorry we didn't get you on again, Nancy. That's we're, we're sorry, but we will make it happen. And... Good night, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Remember, it's not the size of the den that matters. It's the love of the whiskey. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Let's get into it. One, two, three.